You can always tell how right they are by the smell. You sure can. Ah, Urban Nights. Yeah, we've got a uh, recycling drive and a communal veggie patch with the local kids. Early days yet though. Even the smallest individual acknowledgement of the dire state of affairs our planet is in should count for something. There are seven billion of us. Hmm, save the planet. I respect the sentiment. We have to learn how to make the skyrocket fly before we can see what sort of consequences it has on our physical lives. We are curious creatures. We are emerging from a time of agricultural and technological experimentation where a new frontier is developed and opportunities for progress explored. Maybe all the questions don't need to be answered. The secrets to life are in art, in its composition, precision, and its detachment from, yet total dedication to, its subject. I'm alone now, but I've travelled oceans and lands of plenty. Myself now, memories of my life, and the expectant wonder of my future exists in spacelessness. A detachment from the physical, outside time and duration. I've accepted that I'll never be everything that I am. But I feel joy in knowing that I am more than what exists now. Come to Australia with me. You are asking too much. This is my home and there are my people. I'm sorry. Come back here! I uh, get lost, old man! Loser! Put your rubbish in the bin! Is it a passive bedtime grandpa? <laughs> Bloody hooligans! The Urban Nights initiative is more than warm, fuzzy community nonsense. It's about creating a realistic frame of social consciousness and inclusion that creates responsible and focused individuals. 
It breaks through barriers and with the leverage of government funding builds an immediacy with their surrounds. The potential to have a lasting environmental impact on society can be harnessed. <laughs> you should be careful. Your home. I was expecting you. Don't miss a beat, do I? Listen, did our prize writer get his grant application in? <laughs> yeah, got most of it finished. Uh, but also stumbled across the makings of World War Three with some local hoons. Hoons? I blame the media. Glamorising violence and all that hatred through those stupid bloody shows they broadcast. They don't have any role models. Yeah. There's a cancerous growth governing our society. We need some sort of virtual chemotherapy to, to, to weaken its growth. You're the man for the job. The urban lights are fantastic. Yeah. Reduce, reuse, recycle. Yeah. If we take a closer look, we can make sense of this chaos. And the growth paradigm could become stronger when integrated through the community level. Yep, things could work if we tried to be more self-sufficient and not rely on the machine to you know, provide for us. By the way, Sabo, I'm going fishing. Want to come? Oh, where? Um, just going off Birkenhead Point. You enjoy. I'll have to catch you another time. Okay, mate. Okay, mate. No worries. <laughs> Out on the sea, I'm not alone. Like Eugene O'Neill says, I belong without past or future, within peace and unity and a wild joy, within something greater than my own life of man. So hoist up the John B. sails. See how the mainsail sets. Send for the captain ashore. Let me go home. Urgent news flash. We have just heard word that chemicals from the car factory have leaked into Bergen Head Point. If you are out in the area, do not eat the fish from Bergen Head Point Bay. I repeat, do not eat the fish. Thank you. And this is Anne Sargent with the news. Well, I feel so broke up. I want to go home. Hey, good day, mate. How are you? Hey, Len. How many fish you got? Yeah, doing really well. We've got half a bucket of fish. Listen, there's been an accident at the car factory and there's chemicals leaking into the bay. Sorry, mate. Can't hear you. Can't hear you.
There's been an accident at the car factory. What did you say, mate? There's been an accident at the car factory and there's chemicals leaking into the bay. That's terrible. Don't eat the fish, mate. Just let them go. Just let them go. Yeah, no, no, it's okay. I won't eat the fish. Bye. He's coming. Hey, you, stop. Top shit, Grandpa. We're putting our rubbish in your bin. Just like you told us. <laughs> this is a ridiculous amount of waste. You guys should reduce your rubbish. Bloody hell, what a load of garbage. over life offering our appraisal of it without being fully immersed into it. Connecting, breathing, feeling. Are we our own worst enemy? my book. Where did you get this book? My mother gave it to me. What do you want to know? She is beautiful. My father wrote it when he was in the Torres Strait Islands. <sighs> he left before I was born. I didn't know she was pregnant. 
I'm the author of this book. Short-term studies can save an entire ecosystem and it's in a lifetime's work that you find the precious memories that help you to look at everything as if for the first time. Forever in wonder and awe. Is it possible to live happily ever after on a day-to-day -day basis? Maybe. We'll see.